Alright, so I'm sitting here today working away on my shop and uh, I was always talking with my buddy Jokers about what's going on and everything and uh, he said I should fire up the cam and let you see what I'm doing. So I have this raw square material. I'll see if I can hold it still for you here for a second. So you can kind of see the profile of it there. It's got a little groove along the edge of the flat sides and the other sides are kind of angled off a little bit. So what I did with that was, I know it's boring to sit here and watch me cutting stuff on uh, on camera. So what I did was I used my tool, my, uh, my Dremel. Uh, Multimax, that's what they are, Dremel Multimax. And I used it and I followed the groove in the end so that it made like a, a trough. And then I cut my garage door pins and what happens with them is they'll sit just inside it and they'll slide. This piece is just a test piece, it's too short. But you kind of get the idea, it will uh, kind of slide through there. So now, I'm going to take my garage door, once I put you back in focus. And I've decided for the scale that garage door panels are about two feet, so in 124th scale, um, 125th scale, that would work out to one inch equals two feet give or take. I always say give or take because nothing in scale is actually always exactly scale. But what I'm going to do is mark out every inch up the side of my uh, garage door panel. Hopefully you can see this all right and it's in focus. I'm sorry I know I got my hands and everything right in the way. What I'm doing is just using uh, a straight edge just to give me a nice 90 degree angle. Let me just double check the focus here. I'm doing everything with manual focus. I'm sure you've heard if you've watched any of my other videos when I use autofocus, the camera sits here and goes It drives me nuts. I'm sure if you're watching it would drive you nuts too. So I do everything on manual focus. You just gotta bear with me so I can uh, adjust it between what I'm showing you. Alright, so there's that side. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Um, my original plan, you all know how plans work out, you're in the glitches and problems and things like that, sorry I know my fingers are going to be in the way for this one, um, was to use the metal rods through the foam board, and when I say by through it, it means I was going to uh, try and punch them through straight, that was one, get them all through straight and uh, get them all to sit finalized in the right spot. So um, I did that on a test piece. Am I glad I did that on a test piece? Yes, because the end result ended up being that the panel was curved. You can kind of see all the... I tried cutting it and putting it in, I tried just jamming it through the foam it just didn't work. It looked like, yeah, it was not going to work. So that's what I think of that. I fired it. Different plan. Um, right now I am using hot glue and the plan is to, uh, did I end up with an extra rod here? No, that's, uh, aha. I'm like, I had six. What happened to him? Because this is a six foot, or yeah, six foot door, it has six pins, one each foot, and what I've decided to do in the long run is just use hot glue. So, just out of camera here, I just have one of these little dinky, low voltage, low temperature, um, you can't spit a bunch of glue out with them, so you gotta do everything a little spot at a time. Uh, I did use this to build my MiG-29. Uh, although, like I said, trying to um, glue that thing with this was just a, a crazy process, so I didn't, uh, the video was horrible, so you'll never see it, sorry. 
Um, hopefully the next one I will have a better gun. I do have a better gun. I just don't have glue sticks for it yet. So, don't you dare drip on that. And then all I'm doing is just setting this into the glue. Just a little bit hanging over. Kind of like so. And I don't know what it is about foam board, but this stuff hits it like a ton of bricks. As soon as the glue hits it, it's almost cooling. So you really gotta, like, I'm pushing my limits with how much time I'm using on this. As soon as the rod hits the glue, it stops moving. Like, it's already, I can't move it. It's there. So you really got to, I hate how glue guns dribble. Um, you really gotta be on your ball when you start doing this there's no fiddling around um, something I noticed doing I've already done one door off camera uh, I did my big bay door is I set this thing crooked and then let it drop down on the foam and then I can pick up the other end and drop it in before the first side cures I don't have a lot of time but it gives me just enough time to do it oh you still look at that dribble and I hate using that glue because it's not as hot as the rest but I quit flapping my gums and actually started gluing these in a little faster, it might actually go better. So it's probably too far off. Trim it too. But that's how it goes when you build stuff custom. Alright, so let's get rid of that stupid glue dribble. So I have nice hot glue to work with. And now at the bottom, I literally just set this right on the edge. And I'm putting more glue on the bottom, just cause. I just pulled half the glue off the bottom there, but I got it in a position before it grabbed. All right, good thing I'm doing three of them. So anyways, I smoothed out the glue with the tip of the gun just to make everything look better. So now I'm going to go back up this side of it, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue behind each one all the way along the middle, and I'm going to go along and put a dab along each side of it. Alright, sorry about that everyone. Uh, apparently my, uh, my camera card is full. <clears throat> That's the last piece I should have to trim. I don't know if you caught any of that or not. Yes, I'm a little bit more frustrated now. This is the third time my camera's just up and shut off. Alright. That side's free and clean and clear for me. So, if you haven't got the picture by now, these rails will be mounted to my shop. And it will sit just like so. And there you just kind of got the idea. Let's let me do this one more time for you. Come on, get on there. Make this up like that. So that'll be the door open. Oops, there. Right. That'll be the door open. That'll be the door closed. Stay tuned for uh, the installation and how to um, how I'm going to set it up to make it open and close. Hopefully that idea works out for me, and uh, I'll have this up and going, and I'll have a shop update for you sometime soon.